Good afternoon. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I promise I'll keep it brief. My name is Cindy Renault, and I am your candidate for fourth vice president of the IACP in 2016. I began my law enforcement career 24 years ago with the Long Beach Police Department in Los Angeles County, California. I worked a variety of assignments and attained the rank of commander at that agency before leaving to join the Folsom Police Department in Sacramento County, California in 2011 as its chief. My family is heavily invested in this profession, both here in the States and in Canada as well. My husband is a retired lieutenant with a strong background in tactics and training. Our oldest is a 10-year police officer now, and my cousin works as a dispatcher for an agency in Western Quebec, Canada. Uh, as family, they never hesitate to give me their unfiltered opinion of how issues, both legislatively and politically, affect them in their day-to-day -day jobs. As all of us do, I strive to remain close to my own troops and understand what they're going through every day and how nationwide decisions affect them in the performance of their duties. Combining that with my time at IACP, my three years as an executive committee member, my participation on the Financial Review Committee, the Committee on Homeland Security, and work on the Resolutions Committee, I believe gives me a unique perspective as to how what we at the IACP do translates to the work our officers do every day in the field. Combining the national perspective with the local perspective, I am also heavily involved in the California Police Chiefs Association. I serve as their advisory board member to several committees, the California Office of Emergency Services State Emergency Management System Committee, the Cybersecurity Task Force, and I am also the California State Attorney General appointee to the CLETS Advisory Committee. Bringing all of these things together, the state perspective, what our troops are doing every day in the field, and the national perspective is the voice that we need in the IACP so that we can serve our profession and help us all to do what we do every day, which is serve our communities. I am deeply invested in this profession, and it would be my honor to serve you as the next fourth vice president of the IACP, and I hope to have your vote in San Diego in 2016. See you there.